Sometimes I can hardly believe what I'm watching when these guys drop the crazy excuses in the heat of the moment. Like this guy right here, who's an absolute genius when it comes to deception. I made some cookies. Hello? They're on the table. Hi. Take a seat. That's Michael Willis, AKA generic white male. Now we all know why he was here at the house, but guess what he did when he came inside? Have a seat there. Hungry? How does it taste? Great. Wow. He was ever so casually munching away at those cookies like he owned the place or something. Well, he better save her every last bite of those because it's not gonna last long. But what gets me here is despite Chris obviously being right there in front of them, nothing could stop the dude from munching on these cookies. Wow, these are home baked. Do you want time to finish your cookie or? Now, if I was in Michael's place right now, I'd be sweating bullets. But this dude was somehow playing it cool in spite of it all. And even when Chris asked him what he was doing at the house, instead of answering the question, he had a trick up his sleeve. Is this some kind of setup or something? What do you mean? I'm just on my way to the beach. Whoa, turns out this dude figured it was a setup right from the get go. Dude's a freaking genius, I tell ya. And his excuse was totally off the chart. I mean, there ain't no way he was getting it to the beach. And you won't believe the sass on this dude. Honestly, this man was something else. And how did you meet her? Well, of course online. You act like I should know that. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a common thing now. But Chris wasn't gonna back down either. He was constantly throwing the same sass back at it. And when Chris revealed the setup's age, you won't believe this dude's reaction. No way. You know, I have the transcript of your conversation with Jolanda. That might have been just one of the worst acts ever seen on the show, bar none. He didn't even try to lie or pretend anymore. And even with the truth out in the open, you won't believe the kind of fit he threw. I want this cookie, I just wanna to get to the beach. Come here, just one second, sir. Beach, and when nothing else worked, he tossed the cookie in frustration. Man, what did it ever do to you? But this next dude simply wouldn't give up. <laughs> You see, Kazuo Akutsu worked really hard to not get caught. But all you have to do is take a look at his chats and you'll know how direct he was in his approach. Ben says he's not into that. He wants a nice, comfortable bed. Either way, this jerk's day ended up with a huge disappointment and a big bump on the head. Wait, did I mention how he got that bump in the first place? Let's back up a bit. At one point, it was hard to tell if this whole passing out act was for real or whether he was simply faking it. I mean, who in the right mind would do that? It wasn't like it was gonna magically erase everything he'd done up to this point. But this viewer seems to have the answer to Kazuo's headbanging incident, and yeah, it sounds pretty valid. According to them, in the hopes of proving himself as legitimately insane, Kazuo tried to take the hard way out, but nobody bought his story. And let's not forget the confidence he walked into the house with. I know what I did. What am I gonna do now? Well, you're straight up heading to prison. That's what you're gonna do. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really enjoying this little show that Kazuo put on for us. And come on, who was he trying to fool anyways? It's crazy how Chris didn't even bother to go and check up on him, and that said a lot in itself. You see, Chris has been around for so long that he could practically read the minds of these morons. Either way, Kazuo's act blew up in his face. Literally. And if you thought that was weird, then you have to see this next guy on my list. Now, this dude was in his best mood when he first showed up at the house, but things were about to change in less than two minutes from there. You see, Jerry Wayne had next level dedication. He had walked for almost an hour or two before actually showing up at the house. And after all that hard work he put into getting to the place, when he saw Chris, his smile simply vanished. And his reaction was epic. Where did you have to walk from? Oh, way, way, way. But wait, that's just the beginning of a long and weird conversation. Sometime later, when Chris asked him what was the driving force behind it all, his response was priceless. Hey, hi, I'm me a friend. Hi, I'm me a friend. Yeah, but I probably got the wrong address. Oh, buddy, you're in the right place, so you can stop with the nonsense and get down to business. But 
Jerry was in no mood to play it cool. Out of nowhere, he whipped up a crazy excuse. No, because I wrote down 77. 77. Yeah, 17. Wow. This guy really took me by surprise. But you have to listen to the reason he gave for coming all this way. You know, outside of maybe starting a friendship, nothing else serious. Yep, that's right. He walked all the way over here just to make a friend. And while Chris was still trying to process that absurd answer, his entire story suddenly took another turn. I guess, I guess a mentor or something like a that. A mentor? Yep, he wanted to be her mentor. But wait, mentor her in what exactly? Well, I'm sure Chris could take a guess considering he had the chat logs with him. And even before Chris could reveal his true identity, the dude decided to randomly throw out yet another excuse. Yeah, big brother or not? Big brother. Aspect, yes. What? Did he just say big brother? Come on, man. These excuses are going to get you nowhere. But Jerry simply wouldn't stop. I mean, no harm in trying, right? But you know what was even wilder than his excuses? His entire personality. Right from the way he looked, to the way he talked, the way he walked, the guy became the butt of every joke online. Some people even speculated that he was some kind of extraterrestrial being. Anyway, no matter which world he came from, what he was up to is definitely not acceptable in any way, shape, or form. But he has to be thankful to the cops for driving him to the nearest station. What if they asked him to walk? We'd have another Kazuo situation on our hands, I'll bet. While Jerry tried out all kind of excuses, this next dude gave him a run for his money. Where are you? I gotta finish brushing my teeth, okay? Daniel Polito's head was chock full of lies. But more than that, he was cautious right from the start. When he first made it to the house, he made sure to scan everywhere around him before he actually took the plunge. You see, he knew he was getting into some shady business and that he was screwed if he got caught. But when Chris walked in, disappointment washed all over his face. You better keep your hands out of your pockets. What are you up to tonight? Nothing. Nothing. No. Nothing or nothing good? Nothing good. Nothing good. No. At that point, Daniel knew he was done for good. There was no coming back from what he had gotten himself into. But you know what kind of vibe I got from his reaction? He wasn't upset he'd gotten caught, but rather that he couldn't do what he came to do. But that doesn't even mean he didn't want to clear his name. And even before Chris could say anything, Daniel was off to the races. But I was going to tell her that there's a lot of people do that stuff like that. I wasn't going to do anything to her. Starting off with all reliable, huh? Chris has had to have heard that one a million times by now. And it has to get harder and harder to believe every single time. So according to Daniel, he showed up because apparently something simpler had happened to one of his cousins and he didn't want someone else to go through the same thing they did. And while I don't believe him one bit, the amount of detail he crammed into the story is pretty impressive. Yeah, because she was in trouble in Mexico, they took him over and that happened. Did this make the news here? Oh yeah, he went all in. I mean, for a second time there, his story was pretty believable, honestly. But what he said next sent that house of cards tumbling down. I mean, there's no, there's no other people like me, but there's other people that is kind of dangerous. Yeah, apparently he only came with good intention. He wanted to tell her to be careful and not get involved with anyone she met online. You know, I think this little meeting could have been an email. Now, obviously, Chris wasn't buying his story. I mean, his chats were pretty on point. And when he realized that Chris was aware of his backstory, Daniel decided to make a confession. I know I show him I show myself to her on the internet. Well, that's a first for sure. I mean, how many times have you seen weirdos own up to what they said in the chats? And this dude here was admitting to every last bit of it. For a while, Daniel came across like an honest guy who was willing to own up to his mistakes. But just then, he said something that shattered that little illusion. Well, what is it exactly? It's like I told you, just to make, make sure that, you know, she don't do stuff like that. Wait, 
What? So basically, all this dude wanted to do was teach her a lesson and nothing else. But sadly for him, his little mentoring session didn't play out according to his plans. And soon enough, viewers got in on the action and called him out on his BS. The truth is that Daniel signed up for trouble the moment he sent the first message to the setup. And just like him, this next guy was no better. Sit down, make yourself at home. Sure. Thank you. I'm just getting these out so I don't get wrinkled. Now, Abilash Bahaskran came across as a pretty reasonable guy. I mean, just look at him. The dude looks so excited. But life as he knew it was soon about to take a turn for the worst. But before that, let's take a quick look into his chat exchange with the set. Trust me, it's gonna make your blood boil. Hon, would you like to take me in your mouth? You see, this dude knew exactly what he was getting himself into. Despite the risk, he went ahead with his plan anyway. So I just want to make sure everything is okay. Okay, I don't want to see a cop waiting to see me there. And finally, when he came face to face with Chris, he decided to churn out some really crazy excuses. Pretty much, I thought I'll just make a friend and that's it. Told just to make a friend? Yeah. Okay, now, how many times have you heard that? It almost sounds like all these dudes follow the same script or something. But he made it pretty clear that he wasn't there for anything nasty. For six, I'm not coming. For sex, you are not coming. Yeah. Yeah. We totally believe you, buddy. Like, totally believe you. I mean, this man really thought he was in the clear. But I guess he had no idea that Chris had the whole bunch of chat logs in his possession. But nothing could prepare me for what this jerk said next. I'm educated. I have an MBA. You have an MBA? Yeah. Okay, I'm really trying hard to see the connection here. I mean, what has education got to do with any of this? If at anything at all, his MBA should have imparted him the knowledge necessary not to be in the position he's in right now. But this jerk had more to share. You know, I'm married and, you know, the marriage is not going well, so... Okay, help me out here. Since when is a troubled marriage considered as a license to show up at the Sting house scot-free? But turns out, he had an explanation for that, too. Uh, good in studies and... Good in studies. And I thought it is like a mature friend, I mean... You see, no matter how hard he tried to convince Chris that he was only looking for a shoulder to cry on, Chris knew better. What's more, for someone who was damn serious about his profession and his job, like he claimed, he literally took a day off to visit the setup. And that's not all. Apparently, he used his time on the clock to slide into the setup's DM, as well as people like So you told him you had something else to do? Oh, uh, who? The people at your office. Yeah, yes. Oh. Anyway, like this viewer rightly pointed out, thanks to his crazy fantasy, the dude lost his job, his wife, and basically his entire family. What a way to lose it all, huh? While Abilash blamed the broken marriage for his action, what this next guy said was totally unexpected. How you doing? Because I'm not there, the decoy invites a suspect to come up to the house. Now, remember how Daniel from earlier in the video spun up this whole cousin narrative to save his skin? Well, Edward's excuse was way crazier. But before I go into that, let me take a moment to draw your attention to this tab right here. You can sign up to become a member of my channel through it, which gives you access to some crazy behind the scenes moments. What's more, you also stand a chance to win something cool along the way. So there's always something to look forward to. Anyway, coming back to Edward. While his sting at the house was pretty brief, I guess he was the last guy for the day and the cops had run out of patience. But what unfolds at the interrogation center was totally worth a watch. I cannot believe I did this. Well, my best friend's mom is dying of cancer. Yeah, he actually said that. And almost immediately, he realized how stupid he sounded. It's not a real excuse for it, but I wasn't in my right mind. Really? But that didn't stop him from ranting about his really sad life. <sighs> I'm stupid. And when he finally realized his story wasn't doing anything to save himself, he tried another approach. But I wasn't thinking, and, I, and to be honest, people say, well, you're thinking about this. I wasn't even thinking about this. But guess what? That didn't work either. So those were a bunch of excuses that were totally off the charts. But turns out, every other moron has something new to bring to the table. Well, at least after they've taken the time to throw out some of the tried and true ones. Now, which of these excuses do you think was the worst? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on my post notification. Also, if you thought this video was crazy, then make sure to check out the next one right here. It's even crazier.